Hey, good morning, and welcome to Math Camp. Um, what we're going to do today... Wait, what's going on here? Wait, there is... Seems to be an iguana sneaking into my summer math camp. What? What? You want to be in this? <laughs> apparently, apparently he does. He wants to be in this, this camp. You, you, you really do? You really? Okay. All right. You can be in camp if you want to be. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, let's just move him over here and let's see what we're going to do. Okay. We are going to... I'll keep him right there. Okay. Um, what we're going to do is look at a double number line. Okay. Um, double number line counting up. So let's look at what this, what this is all about. A movie ticket costs $8. So here I see on this number line, one movie ticket is $8. Here's the line for movie tickets. And here is the line for dollars. Okay. So that's the double number line. Um, fill in the blanks in the double number line below. Okay, so I can see there's a pattern here. We're always going up by one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. This has to be seven. Now here, we're always going up by eight. Eight plus eight is 16, plus eight is 24. So if I add eight, 24 plus eight is 32, plus eight would give me 40 plus eight would be of course 48, and plus another eight would give me 56. So you're gonna fill in those four values on Delta Math, hit Submit Answer, and then you'll see if you're right or wrong. And if you're, if you're wrong, click Show Work, or it'll show you automatically how to do it. Um, and then you can see where your error is or if you got it right. Okay, let's try another one. Here it says there are 12 donuts in a dozen. So here we have donuts in a dozen. So 12 donuts in a dozen. You've all gotten donuts from Krispy Kreme. The box is for one dozen, and there's always 12 donuts in there, at least the standard boxes. Okay, now let's see what's going on here. Here, 12 goes up by 12, and we have 24 plus 12. 24 plus 12 is 36. Plus 12, of course, would give us 48. Plus 12, 48, plus 12, 48, 58, 59, 60 would go there. Plus 12 would give us 72. And plus 12, 72 plus 12, let's see. 72 plus 10 is 82, plus two more would give us 84. Okay, so that's my top number line. Now my bottom number line, notice, goes up by ones. So this would be six and this would be seven. Okay, hit submit and see how you do. Okay, that's level one. Now we also have level two, which is scaling up and down. Now it says a movie ticket costs seven dollars. How much do nine movie tickets cost? Okay, well let's check this out. Here we have movie tickets and then the cost in dollars. So one of them costs seven dollars. How much do nine cost? Okay, well notice that here Instead of counting up like we did over here, which we could do, I think it's going to be a lot quicker to multiply. So what times 1 gives us 9? Well, that would be 9. 1 times 9 would give us 9. So I have to take 7 times 9, and that will give me that answer. 7 times 9 is 63. So 9 tickets would give us $63 or would cost $63. You can hit Submit Answer and see if it's right or wrong. Well, and we can also think about it. Okay, so you could, like, continue this. So that means 2 at $7 would be 14. 3 at another 7, and we're at 21. 4 at another 7, and we're at 28. 5, add another 7, and we're at 35. 6, 7, 8, i got to go smaller here. 6, 7, 8. Here, if we add another 7, 35 plus 7, we'd be at 42. If we add another 7, we'd be at 49. If I add another 7, let's see, 49 plus 7 would be 56. And 56 plus 7 more. 6 and 6 is 12. 
plus one more is 13. So six plus seven is 13, carry the one, five plus one is six, and yeah, we get 63. So the pattern did continue like that as well. Okay, now do you have to write down each thing in blue? No, um, I'm just showing you how it works out and how it relates to this number line that we were doing right here. Okay, let's do a couple more. How are you doing so far? You doing good? Yay. I'm so glad he's clapping. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see. This next one. What do we have here? We've got at the corner store, you buy six super sized granola bars for $12. Okay, now they notice, notice that they give us not the price per granola bar, but the price for six. Six of them is $12. So to go from six to one, I have to divide by six. 6 divided by 6 gives us 1. So 12 divided by 6, 12 divided by 6 would give us 2. So that's what goes in there. So one granola bar would be $2. Okay? Then you would hit Submit. And I've been pointing that out, and it might have been off of the screen, but that's what you're hitting. You hit Submit, and see if you got it right or wrong. Okay, let's do just one more, and then you guys are going to be pros at this when you go to Delta Math. Okay, a batch of hot chocolate is made with 15 teaspoons of cocoa and five cups of milk. So here's my cocoa, 15 teaspoons, and five cups of milk. All right, now it says how many teaspoons are needed for every cup of milk? So to go from here to here, I'm going to have to divide by five. So the same thing here, I'm going to have to divide by 5. So 15 divided by 5 would give me 3. So that means each cup of milk has 3 teaspoons of cocoa. So it makes sense that 5 cups would have 15 teaspoons. Okay, that takes care of the double number line. You guys are doing great. Give that a shot on Delta Math, and I will see you again soon. Okay, bye-bye. Goodbye, fellow.